Good news everyone, Mr. Page here. Today we're going to analyze the difference between ranked play and traditional ranked. And that's the difference between best of one and best of three. So there are two main gameplay differences between these two formats. Obviously you're playing three games, so you're, you get a chance for a more consistent result. You, get, you can lose a game and still make a comeback and win. And the other bigger difference is sideboarding. And sideboarding is going to affect different decks differently. It's, it's not an even lowering of power for everybody. If your deck is hated against really strongly, like say you're playing mono red and there's protection from red creatures in the format, that deck is going to get a much worse win rate in best of three compared to best of one. And that's an extreme example, but it also applies in the other direction. If you're playing a deck that can sideboard really well, then best of three would favor you. So if you're playing like a three color deck that has access to a lot of really good tools and can tune your deck a lot better for game two and three, those decks are going to benefit big time from best of three. Now, those are the, the gameplay differences, but in, in practice and in reality, the formats actually diverge even further because of the compounding effects of those first two changes. So you get different decks are slightly better in one format or the other. So then they appear more in one format or the other. And then the fact that just the players in those formats are facing different opponents, they're going to tweak their decks differently. And you end up with vastly different metagames. And most people think there's slight differences, but it, it's actually incredibly different. And I will prove that to you with my spreadsheet. I played a lot of Magic Online a few months ago. So this, all of this data, uh, don't worry too much about, about what all the columns are. I'll go over the important stuff. But I, I collected results for every single match I played during two sets ago. So this was Return to Ravnica, was the newest set at the time. So the, the actual decks aren't going to be too relevant right now. But I want to show you the differences in the two metagames. So, so what we're looking at right here is best of one. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see I tracked 1,417 games. There's a ton of data here. Now, best of three, I didn't play quite as much, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not quite that many. If we look over here, it's only 1,000. Sorry, it's only 1,078 games. The reason it, it this number is bigger is I was tracking both best of one and best of three in one sheet until I broke them apart. So best of three is over here in its own column, which, by the way, I broke it apart once I realized just how different they are. Because you can't, you really need to break the data apart. Because if you're trying to figure out, like, is Red Deck wins good against Esper, if you mix best of one and best of three results, you're going to muddy it and you're not going to get a true number. And you'll, you'll see, I, I only played 343 uh, best of three games. And I think the big difference for me, like, I like best of one a lot better, and I still do because it goes quicker, too. So there, there's those strategic formats, but also or strategic differences to the formats. But when you go, when you eliminate the sideboarding step, that's two and a half minutes, potentially twice a match that you don't have to do. And if you're playing a fast deck, getting back those two to five minutes every game is, is, is actually pretty like that. That's a difference of a whole game in some cases. So I, I definitely prefer the flow of best of one. Okay. So we've got, we've got roughly, you know, 1400 ish, 1300, 1400 data points here. And I've summarized them in this, this sheet here. So we've got, the sightings for best of one and the sightings in best of three for all the decks. And you can see, no no shock, red deck wins is 25% of the field in best of one. In this column, we're tracking the difference. So if I actually just sort it by this, now you can see that red deck wins, it's 25% of the field in best of one, but it's only 8% of the field in best of three. That's that's a huge difference, like incredible difference. Like it's it's hard to stress like how divergent these formats are. Salty mid range is the opposite. 
we it's only an eight percent difference, but it's thirteen percent, or it was again. This is six months ago. Thirteen percent of the field was Saltai in best of three, and it was only five percent in best of one. So it's really like I guess the big takeaway here is you got to be super careful about grabbing decks from videos like the videos I make and lots of other content creators make. If you just grab the deck and think you can play it in your preferred format, you might end up being really disappointed. Like if you want to play best of one, like I do, it'll definitely benefit you to pick up decks from best of one videos and best of one sources rather than best of three sources. And, you know, the, these two big guys aren't, aren't the only like, major differences gruel mid-range again horrible in best of one civic nexus oh, well obviously that got banned in best of one and not best of three see a couple games i played before the bannings happened and these by the way these don't these aren't biased by my preferences these are the opponents i faced not the decks i was playing i played a lot of different decks during this time period but these are just the opponents i faced uh, White Weenie, you see, finally goes back the other direction, more common in Best of One. Is it Phoenix? Barely exists at all in, in Best of One, but a, it's a decent part of the field in Best of Three. If we go a little farther down, we can see, like, here. here's a common deck on both sides, Bottle Blue Tempo, and down here, Esper Control, I would say that the second most common deck, it's, it actually appeared on both sides of the fence pretty, pretty easily. And I think that, I think this shows too the, the big difference I was saying about like sideboarding. Like mono red, you can you can put a lot of cards in your sideboard to, to fight mono red, and you can see that like it kind of just drives people out of best of three. You get sick and tired of losing to people who bring in all kinds of life game, so you just stick in best of one. And Esper Control, it's much harder to sideboard against Esper Control, so you can see that the the. the it stays strong in best of three. And and Esper Control sideboards better as well. It has more tools it can use. Mono Red, there's not a whole lot you can do with your sideboard. And Saltai Midrange shows the opposite as, of Mono Red in that it has a ton of really good sideboard tools. And with a midrange deck, you know, game one, if your opponent ends up being a fast deck, then you are playing a controlling game. And if your opponent's playing a controlling deck, the midrange decks are going to try to be the aggressor and play the fast game and your cyborg lets you adjust into that role a lot better so we can see that the two biggest losers here in best of one are mid-range decks and the biggest gainer in best of best of one is the very linear aggro deck the second biggest winner in, in best of one is the very linear control deck so it's doing one thing trying to do really well now, another thing I'd like to show you is, so let's bring in the win rates. This is the win percentages for these decks in the various formats, and then the change over here. Now, I will note that this time, the win percentage is skewed by which decks I'm playing. So there's a lot more results for some, some of these decks than others, because I'm also playing them as well as playing against them. So I think it's important to trim out the, the, the bottom end of the field, so let's get out the bottom 0% from best of one and we'll take out the bottom 2% in best of three because we don't we didn't play as many games here so we'll, we'll trim off a little more and now we can see the biggest change here in win percent is actually Grixis control and that's a pretty starking difference this is a deck that I, I play quite a bit of myself and look at that like 63% win rate in best of three 29% win rate in best of one. If you watched one of my Grixis control videos, and I'm pretty sure I made a video about this at the time, but if you watched a, that video and copied the deck and then took it into the best of one to try to rank up, like you would have thought, like, I don't know, like I doctored my videos or something. Like, you, it's it's horrible deck in best of one. And it, it kicks ass in, in best of three. So again, like just if you don't fully understand the nuances of the differences of the two formats, then it's a good idea to get your inspirations from the, exactly the format you want and not generalize it too much. In some cases, you can't just jump into either queue, like Esper Control. I guess, like in the case of Esper Control, 
you are like the Asper control is good in both of these formats, but the cards you want in your deck are going to change just because your opponents are different. So you you want to skew a best of one control deck a little bit more against Mono Red in particular. And again, it's it's hard to give specific advice in these cases because let me bring all the data back here. This data, this particular data set, it's huge and it illustrates the point really well, but it's not applicable anymore. <laughs> We're playing different magic now. We've got the Planeswalker set came out and just changed everything about how this plays. Like, so in general, if you want some more advice on this particular best of one format and how it's different, I'll have a video about that up within the next day or two. Um, right now I'm slamming out a ton of games with, with Red and Best of One just to try to get a really good snapshot of that metagame. So if, you, if you'd like to see that video when it comes out, subscribe and we'll try to we'll try to figure out the best the current Best of One format the difference is right now. But, I, you know, I thought it was really important to get this data out here and show that just how huge the difference could be to some decks, your more mid-range decks or like Grixis Control this season was just tremendously different across the two formats. So I hope you found this video helpful. My name's Mr. Page. I'll see you guys in the next video.